that on. Can you go test? Watch. Can you hear me now? Is there sound now? Yeah. There is? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me uh, get on here so I can see the comments. There's a bug on your cheek. Yeah. What's going on, Brian? Jim? Just, just need like that. Stop that one. Huh, look. I can see, uh, Spilled all Louie's food. Where's Louie anyway? Underneath. Alright, I think they can hear me now. Princess! There's food everywhere now. <laughs> I'm watching your live stream. <laughs> you have to like uh what is a okay, hold on. You gotta sweep all this Louis food now. Today I got a new dog. I'm not gonna say it's mine. This is Louie. He's annoying. Especially when you step on him. He's getting bigger though. He is used he? to be really young. He used to be really cute and small and sweet. He's already small. And now he's uh, Or he's still small. No, he's not. He's getting big and fat. <laughs> he's getting full grown. Look, he's trying to act nice on camera, but that's not true. This is not really him. Good, you could have him. Come on. Wait, wait. Come on. Uh, so we got people coming in the shop, so I gotta. Peter. Morning. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready as I'll ever be. How's the past few days so far? What work was thorough? Thorough? Thorough. I think Mark's over there. Getting ready, getting the gear ready. Yep. Or Elvis. I'm Mark. Yeah, Mark's uh, mm -hmm. getting your tank ready. Good luck. Lad. Is Marjorie done today? Marjorie? It is so cool. She said, it feels like I'm diving while I'm sleeping. Yeah, she did her open water and now she's doing like four a day. Yeah. Really? I'm lucky. I fell into a door and I haven't dove in like two days. I gotta answer. Uh, Let me entertain your fans. Get a chair. Oh, yeah, you, look, you look like a weirdo. How's the boat? The boat's okay. We got this uh, really hardwood. Oh, shit. Our diver fell down. Go. Hey, princess, go help him. Uh, Peter tripped on something. It's hard to do. I've been trying to do live stream for a while, but the shop's been so busy. But today we only have a few. So I'm... Alright. 
I'll be, I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. And then, uh, I'll answer these, these questions. <laughs> Somebody tripped on the sidewalk. Hey guys, I'm here to entertain because Justin's a little busy. Check out this dog. Yeah. No, you didn't miss anything. Uh, one of our divers just tripped while he was walking on a hole, unfortunately. But he's gonna be okay. I think. Anyways, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Just focus on- Oh my god, see? See? He tries to act all innocent when he's with Justin. But then, when he's with me, he's gonna try to bite my face. Nothing's up with me, really. I've been out for the past two days from work because I busted my lip. Because I fainted and fell into a door, but it's okay, no pain, no gain, right? First time having a busted lip, which is kind of cool. I feel like one of those, like, I don't know, like in movies where they're, like, super, like, rough and, like, you know, like, fighting, that's what it feels like, even though I just ran into a door, but it's pretty cool. What's up with you guys? When are you gonna come dive in here? Yeah, you're right. There goes my modeling career. It's okay. It'll heal in a few days. Hopefully. Pray for me, please. When are you guys gonna come to the dive shop? We don't really have... Well, no, actually, this is basically the busiest season about to be. Yeah, gangster chick, no, that's right. I'm gonna start wearing like a leather jacket and like shades so everyone knows like my status around here. But right now is the busiest season or it's about to be because it's about to be summer and it's super hot outside right now. So like everyone wants to come diving. And we have this one open diver who was just certified a couple days ago. Maybe, yeah, a few days ago. And she's doing so many dives recently. So that's super exciting. She's getting really good. Ooh. See, see, see. That was caught on camera. Huh? The guy, he tripped on like a little hole that a dog dug up, and now we're getting a bunch of like backlash on it. 
Uh, yeah, you should come by when you're not busy. Because then you can, like, see Justin, the infamous Justin Carmack, you know, everyone's favorite. Soon, I hope to do my advanced course because I'm planning on. Oh, ew. This dog is so annoying. Um, because I just want to do my advanced course. Because at your advanced course, you can do. Your maximum depth is 30 meters, I think. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's some drama happening. <laughs> yeah, you can. Going to be able to like, use the new dive boat. Yeah, soon we're gonna be able to use the new dive boat. Elvis, what color is the dive boat? Pink. It's like pink and yellow and green. Pink, yellow, green. You'll be able to see it from a mile away. Who's that? But yeah, soon we're gonna be able to use the dive boat. Which is pretty cool because then we can schedule a ton of oppo trips and oppo trips are the best because you see the best stuff like ah oh, I don't want to put them on the ground because Judea is wiping it off because he knocked a bunch of food on the ground but the oppo trips are the best because there's like this insane turn the camera and share the action ha <laughs> I wish, but I might get in trouble for that. It's just like the workers filling in the hole right now. <laughs> also, Elvis, he said, Arizona. He's outside right now with the diver that fell. We had a Pomeranian named Prince. That's cool. This one's named Louie. And he's, he's mean. But watch, Elvis, like, my dad, he used to own, like, tigers and stuff like that. And he would do this trick, watch, and he gets super scared now. <gasps> no, he's not scared anymore! <clears throat> he used to be scared of, like, this. Now, see, he kind of is. He's trying to bite it. But he's immune now. You guys should stop by Critter and buy these awesome shirts because Justin got a whole bunch of them. Um, I'll do it with you. Yes, please. You should totally come and do your open water because the next time Justin has an advanced open water course, then I'm going to be doing it as well. But we haven't had anyone come in to do their advanced. We've just had a bunch of open waters lately. So I'm waiting for someone to come in to do their advanced course. Please. We'll do it together. We'll be diving buddies. Hi from Finland. Hello. Look how cute he is. Justin doesn't have any, like, students today. So I think he's just going to be here editing videos. Ooh, check out this cool mug. You guys might have seen it on his YouTube video. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Has pistachios in it. But check out this mug. Do you have many people doing their dive master course? Um, we have a few people that... We had one guy who just finished his dive master. Justin is right there. He's walking in right now. Thank God, Justin, they've been waiting for you. They've been waiting for you. No, they've been waiting for you. He's back, guys. You read, you read comments? Yeah, I did. A bunch of people were, like, asking about, like... Let me guess, the boat? Huh? Can they hear for this? Are you... I don't know. Yeah, yeah, they can totally hear. Peter, uh... Because I've been, like, yelling. <laughs> you just go like this. Sit down if you want. You're a regular untainted guy. What what does untainted mean? Untainted? 
like not. I don't know. Oh, thanks. Cleared it. Cleared that right up. <laughs> oh, the boat. Uh, we're waiting for this. It's a rare species that they only let a certain amount out every year. Of some kind of I can't remember what kind of eucalyptus, but it's really hard. That they do the keels, the heavy, you know, real heavy one. And for us, the uh, the outriggers. No more bamboo. They're doing like the yacht triangle style hollow with the drain plugs. It's going to be sweet, but it's taking forever. You can't take it out of this national park without the permits. We're waiting for... There's like three different permit, like transportation, all this kind of weird permits. So we're waiting to like, uh, hopefully this month we'll get all the wood so we can finish outriggers, masts. We don't need the fancy wood for the mast, but we're just kind of doing everything at once. Troll account. <laughs> What's going on, New Zealand? That's one country I haven't been to yet. How's it going uh, in Illinois, Alexander? Hello, Rick Lapa. Man, there's this angry dude out there. He's angrier than the guy that uh, fell. fell down. That guy. Did you see him on FaceTime with his friend? Yeah. He was like, you this hole that they just have out here. Yeah, some dog dug a hole in our yard of our resort and last night, and our diver just tripped on it like fair enough this guy he, he's obviously you know we're in the philippines and he's obviously just uh arrived from america you could smell him a mile away or europe or whatever he's like oh my god if we were in america you'd be sweating so much you're gonna be sued we're like calm down dude you're here for a reason you gotta you gotta relax he's like you're about to be sued i'm doing live stream i'm like jesus i don't care whatever man but it does suck because he's supposed to day two of his course, but he's okay. Hopefully. So good of you to move your legs. All oh, for yeah. The, Louis makes a lot of messes, man. Yeah, that wasn't even the sidewalk. He was stepping off the sidewalk into the grass, and the dog made a hole. Not my dog. My dog don't go outside. He's pretty useless. Princess. Man, this, this computer sucks. I got this brand new awesome computer. For, it's like a gaming computer. It's got a terabyte of uh, just extra memory, and it's already full from our underwater video clips. And it's just really lagging. You guys can uh, you guys can hear me though, right? <laughs> oh man, he's like that that guy. He said. Oh man, I can smell your lack of empathy because we were joking about it. Because yesterday the same guy tripped on uh, Louis, so we were just—he was joking about it too. And you the know guy. What he's talking about right now. He's still there. No, uh, Peter. Oh. He's like he's not upset about falling. He's like, oh yeah, I buy like twelve lotteries a month, and whenever I win the lottery, I'm gonna buy a big piece of property and I'm gonna put Crater Republic right on it. <laughs> yeah, he told me he's playing the lottery so he can buy me a. a a bigger resort or something. Yeah. It's like, me too, man. Nah, he's he's super sweet, dude. He's a uh, yeah. He actually he bought. I wonder if I wonder where that is. He bought my book from like two years ago. I haven't seen it in ages, and he brought it all the way from Oregon or whatever uh, for me to sign. I was like, damn, this is cool. I haven't seen this in a long time. We're working on the second book, and it's completely different. Man, this computer's like lagging. I have to read the comments on my phone or something. 
Hey, gangster chick. <laughs> I was telling you about my busted lip, and I was saying how like I felt like a gangster, <laughs> like in the movies. Yeah, you're so gangster. And I was saying how I was gonna wear like a leather jacket and shades to show everyone else my status. You can't even see it. Yes, you can. Well, stop lifting it like that. It's kind of like swollen right here. You can kind of see it, but it's not too bad. It was bad before. Yeah, see, she fell down yesterday. What's up with you people? Yeah, no, I feel like a gangster. I need to. I was just in Dallin for four weeks and never made it to the shop. What? I was busy bumming around. Yeah, people have plans and then they get here and they're just having fun. It's understandable. Are you going to be able to use the new dive boat? Yeah. When it's, when it's built, that's why we're building it. David, are we going to use the new dive boat? Yeah. Hopefully this year. Uh, I'm sure this year. We're just waiting on wood. It's not the construction. Nothing is too difficult. We, I mean, it's running. It's floating. But we took it back out of the water to paint it more, and to put and, and to build the outriggers. But that's not too much, except for this one hardwood that's hard to freaking get legally, if you want to do it legal. And I got friends in the Coast Guard and stuff. They're gonna help me with the registration, so I don't want to. I just want to do everything right legally. So we're just renting boats right now. Uh, turn the camera. Sure. Yeah. Nah, that's rude. <laughs> Hi from Arizona. Where's Elvis anyway? He's talking with the computer. Is he all right? Yeah. They're just icing his ankle. He's all embarrassed. He's not really hurt, but he's got us be in the pool all day with the fins that could be hard on your ankle already and also he said he has like a problem with like being in the sun too much yeah like it breaks him out with like a rush. but the sun is or the pool is in the shade this one this art this pool um i can't wait to do my advanced open water well let's go yeah let's go so i can do mine too princess wants to do her advanced I feel bad. I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking like down here, but I can't see the comments on there. Uh, yeah, let's go do your advance. My wife just did her advance. We got courses every day, almost every day. I know, and now's the busy season. It's yeah, April is starting the critter critter season. April, May. It, man, I filmed so much stuff yesterday in one dive. Really. Some of my best footage. Oh, we're making a video about that. What? My, the dives. Oh, the dives? I did a night dive and then I did a <gasps> day dive. Not yesterday, but... Justin's been promising me a night dive. Yeah. We're just waiting for Elvis to agree. No night dive for you. You don't have a microphone. I bet they can't even hear you. I hope they feel my energy. <laughs> uh, hello from Finland. I love Finland. <laughs> what? You already said that one. No, I haven't. I didn't even see that one. You're reading like the... Like Finland? That's the first time I've seen that. Yeah, that was an old comment. You're reading the old comments that I already answered. Yeah, you read it. Well, I didn't read it. <laughs> you said earlier, you were like, oh yeah, I've never been to Finland. What? Yeah. No, I didn't. I've been to Finland like 20 times. I used to live in Estonia. Oh, and we okay. used to take the boat like right across to Helsinki all the time. Uh, New Zealand. Oh. Stupid. <laughs> God. Uh, what's up, Surrey? Surrey was the same thing. He he bought a shirt that you can only buy online, not one of these, and he came here and uh, wearing that shirt. That's the first time I've seen our online shirts. Someone asked what specialty course do you offer with the advanced All of them. Oh, they probably didn't even hear you. Why don't you sit over here, you retard? God dang. They can't hear anything. Can you guys hear her talking over there? I'm trying to keep up. Thanks, cowboy. They can hear Princess just fine. Oh, they can? Alright, good. Sit way over there. Uh, hello. Oh, Pam can hear. Suri. She's okay. 
The video's paused? Is it loading or is it fine now? It's good now. Alright. Um, I don't know. When's the last time we did a uh, live stream? Let's go, Justin. Oh, let's do challenge. I bench press Justin to air. He does me. I'm 350. Well, I'm less than that. I'm like 40 pounds less than that. So that's not fair. I'm weak. If we do the incline bench press, I'm over 500 pounds. Do we could do that? What's going on, Carl? Brother Carl, where are you from? What well, you probably just said, but I didn't see. Angry New Yorker. It seriously sounded like it. He just started live streaming to his like brother or family. I don't know who. Like, we're so used to being on camera, right? We didn't realize he was, like, on FaceTime. So, like, he pointed the camera at me, and I was like, Hi, guys! <laughs> I thought he was like, oh, Did you guys hear that? They're so used to, like, cameras in their face and stuff. They're just... Some guy was filming us. Oh, God. Go see what he wants. Here, here, you sit here. He's back complaining. Hey, guys. Your favorite's back. I'm gonna entertain you while Justin goes and deals with the angry New Yorker. To sue us for having a hole. Oh, cool! He just has all these comments on his lap. On his, I don't know what the hell this is. Hello from Hawaii. I want to visit Hawaii. You need to make it WPB Florida for some drift diving. <gasps> I know that comment's probably for Justin because he was just on here, but I want to do a drift dive so bad in, I think it's Indonesia, because in the drift dive, there's like manta rays, and that's the one thing I want to see. Like, top, like that's just the one thing I want to see, I want to see a manta ray. And when I see a manta ray, I'm going to get a tattoo of it, because I don't want to just get a tattoo of a manta ray for no reason, right? So I'm going to wait till I see one, and then I'm going to get a tattoo of it. Me and Elvis are planning on it. But Elvis and them are going to Tubataha in one, two, in like a week. And they're going to be there for 10 days to record some stuff. And Finn, Finn Snow, you guys definitely know him. He's there already. And he said the visibility is like amazing. And there's like hammerheads and manta rays and stuff. So I wish I could go, but I'm not. Maybe next year. Hello from Los Angeles. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, like, Justin's, what, like, PC monitor thing is, like, glitching, so it's so hard to read these comments. Uh, who just said going with the next project? Are, <laughs> Are all New Yorkers angry? It's like a hobby there. Yeah, basically. They always have something to complain about. That was rude. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, sorry was unethical slash rude, I guess. Had a few beers. Devil in the details, I guess. Lol. Hee <laughs> hee. Justin's dealing with that guy. Hawaii has a lot of manta rays. Guys, let's convince Justin to take us to Hawaii. Are you guys from the Philippines or the U.S.? Me and Elvis were born in the Philippines in Cebu, Santander. And then we moved to America for 11 years and came back in 2022. We have a lot of Goliath groupers on our Florida drift dives. <laughs> Someone give me a ticket to Florida, please. Guam is closer to the Philippines, lol. I have an accent. Like an American accent or a Southern accent? Because my dad is from South Carolina. Oh, okay, great. I really don't want a southern accent because I feel like that would take away from myself. But it's kind of fun doing. 
Who's the extra diver? He's oh, he's diving. Our angry New Yorker is going on a dive. <laughs> now he's a fan. Fifty. I love Pips. The Tortuga. Who? The Tortuga? Who? 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 Me and Elvis are already going to Tubatata next week. That's like yeah, a fortune. I know, I heard, what was it? Like the, the tickets or something to go there? It's like 150000 like or something? Yeah. Like that's what my mom said. Yeah, it was $2,500. You want like the level It's $2,500 plus sanctuary, plus the night level. trucks, plus <laughs> flights, plus hotel. Uh, Guam is one of our students is from Guam. Or he he he, he lives there. He he's uh working for immigration. He's the old immigration officer. Guam and sometimes Saipan. Uh, no, I haven't even been to Guam. I was supposed to go. We were supposed to go. Uh. Right before the pandemic, they called the tourism of Guam. They they want to promote it as a shipwreck spot because they put all these artificial wrecks. What specialty course do you offer with the advanced open water? Every one that there is, we have. I ha the ones I highly recommend. The core specialities for a competent diver are. Uh, uh, what you did tell that dude to. Fix the hole in the grass. He did. He put like a yeah, he made it worse. Put, tell him to. He can take the dirt from where my car is. Anyway, night trucks, navigation, night diving. Uh, no, not you. You you, you do night trucks next. How about that? Um, search and recovery. What else? I mean, we got everything. Side mount. I'm doing. Yeah, you can do it. Open what you could do night trucks with the uh, open water. Oh, what? Yeah. Well, oh, I thought night trucks was that kid just did it yesterday. He's only like sixteen. Oh. He's only open water. Night trucks is for everybody. Justin, where in the U.S. are you from? I'm from Colorado, just Colorado. like you. Colorado. Grand Junction, Colorado. Uh, we have. I mean, deep speciality you need to do. We have DPVs, you know, like uh, um, underwater scooters, equipment specialist, gas blending. I got a list on my wall that I'm looking at, but those are the basics. And then we also have TDI, tech diving. A lot of our students pivot to intro to tech, advanced nitrox, decompression procedures. Yeah. We both did uh, ANDP, Advanced Nitrox, Decompression Procedures. He did uh, Technical Side Mount, and I'm doing Technical Side Mount right after Chubataha. And then we're doing Extended Range. So you know, there. Me and Elvis planned that, what's it called? Whenever I turn 18, me and him are going to go to Thailand and do our cave course together. Sure, you are. Huh? Let's go to Mexico. Mexico? Yeah. There's a lot of caves there. I dove. They're awesome. I heard the feeling of using nitrox is great. It's alright. Some people feel great, but mostly it's a safety factor. But I, I do have a lot more energy. Like in Tubataha next week, when we're doing four, at least four dives a day, will be only nitrox. Just so we can have shorter surface intervals and longer bottom time and feeling more energy. Do you miss the USA? I gotta do these questions first. I need to make it to West Palm Beach, Florida. Definitely. I've been all over the Keys. I did the wreck trek in the Keys, but I need to make it to... I think there's a shark diving in West Palm Beach. Hello from Los Angeles. Hello, Jake. Hello, Philip Massey. How's it going and what's the next project? Oh my God. There's so many n new projects. 
we just started it well we didn't launch it but we're starting a new channel we'll have about 50 videos ready before we launch it but it is primarily diving it is like only for scuba divers like hardcore it's like it kind of separated from this channel not the underwater episodes but just really technical stuff like uh yeah how to we're gonna make some more videos today by the way but uh how to configure a side mount harness, how to tie a certain knot, how to, what, what else have we done? Oh, the dive, the SDI dive master, master Are you skill circuit. That channel, your side mount? Yeah. On that one? Yeah. Oh, okay. All the really technical scuba stuff will be on the new channel. What are you doing live stream? Like, like, you need to answer the, the This is a question. Yeah, and then what's another, uh, project uh the what <sighs> there's so many because we just yeah, we just made a video about upcoming projects oh the dpvs we're gonna be doing underwater scooter uh courses i just i just made a lit i just talked about all our new projects and now i can't remember i know oh we're we're, we're creating a micro series for these Chinese uh, channels, Chinese uh, dude. This uh, this guy's obsessed about. Anyway, uh, we're like a micro series. It sounds ridiculous, but we talked. This film agent came and talked to us. He's going to like Hong Kong and Cannes uh, film festivals. We got some. So May one, we're starting to film this. There's a bunch. Besides the boat, oh, I'm side mount Tubataha. Oh, and right after, maybe in a month or two after Tubataha, uh, we're setting up a travel company. We're going. We're next year. We'll have live aboard my own group trips to uh, Tubataha National Park, deep south Maldives with sharks, and I'm hoping Indonesia. And maybe somebody's talking to me about Palau. So, we're setting that up. That should be live in a month or two on our website. But that's why we're going to Tupataha next week, is to test out this boat, get some promo material. Hawaii has lots of mantas. My friend's a dive master in Kona. Lots of mantas. Uh, I heard about the drift dive in Indonesia. Like, with the manta rays. I was told about it. Yeah. I saw a lot of... That's why I got this tattoo. I know, me and Elvis were planning on... In Komodo. Well, not Elvis anymore, because he's going to see a man ray in like a week. But I'm waiting to see a man ray so I can get a tattoo. Yeah, I want to see... I need a Philippines tattoo. Didn't you say you were going to get a, like a tattoo of like a hammerhead? Yeah, if I, if I see my first hammerhead next week, I'll get a tattoo. Because <laughs> I haven't seen one except for fishing. <laughs> make a vlog out of that. Where's Elvis? Um, I think he's still talking. Is he still talking to Peter here? Yeah. Yeah. Tell him I want him to massage Peter's leg. <laughs> uh, a lot of diving on Guam. That's what I hear. I've not... I have heard of it. Uh, I was supposed to go. 2500 for where? It's a week-long live aboard uh, at Tubataha that we're doing next week. And we'll be selling uh, our own group trips next year. Well, we sold it out this year too, but it'll be only my group, my people, uh, next 2025 for the three, at least three liveaboard trips. And then maybe a, a not liveaboard trip in Romblon. Well, let's see. Where in the US are you from? Oh, yeah. Uh, Yuma Sand Dunes. Yay. Uh, I heard the feeling, oh, yeah, I definitely miss the U.S. What about it, do you miss? I miss, <laughs> I miss cars, like my, uh, muscle cars, and when I was in high school, I'd build, like, big 4x4 four four trucks, and we'd go to Easter Jeep Safari every year in Moab, Utah, because I'm from Colorado, but the west side, so Moab is only, like, an hour and a half away. And we'd go on Jeep safaris and 
I miss that kind of stuff, that redneck stuff that uh, you don't get here. I mean, look at the car I drive here. My friends would absolutely murder me if I had that car in America. It, it would get ran over. <laughs> that little van. But it's perfect here. Just things, you know, I couldn't give up diving, though. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a cool channel, but really, really small niche. Like, it's only for certain people. Had a ray come over me diving at Subic. I was I was thinking about I almost went and did uh, um, uh, advanced rec course in Subic this week. My friend is teaching it, but too much going on. But he uh, he flies groups in there and does rec and advanced rec and technical rec courses. Because there's a lot of recs there. Big wheel. Oh, what's going on, uh, Shane? Where's the missus? Big rays are cool. The funny thing is, Elvis, the only ray he saw... It was a huge one. I don't know what kind, but not a Manta, but it was huge. And it was during his first deco dive, and <laughs> during his uh, his course actually, decompression procedures. And uh, Mark, the instructor, didn't see it, so we just accused him of just being super narked <laughs> and making it up. Like there was no ray. You're just making it up, even though there was two of them. There was two students, Elvis and uh, uh, Dylan, and they both saw it. Mark's like, "Nah, you guys were you guys were narc. There's no ray. That was a we call it the narco ray, or the phantom ray, or something that Elvis made up because he gets super narc because he's so small. It's hilarious. But I love man. I love rays. I love mantas and sharks." If I see my first hammerhead, I'll get the tattoo next to my manta that I got in Komodo. You should just get the shark tattoo right here. Yeah, that'd be so cool. Uh, U.S. is going downhill. It's still my favorite country. It's still mine. I'm not here because I hate my own country or anything. I'm here because it's the best diving in the world. If you're into... By, you know, species. I thought, he I thought Victor left. Oh, that's what I thought. See, he's an addict. We create addicts here. Yeah. He did his open water. He's like, I guess I'll do it. And then on the day he passed his open water, he started doing four dives a day. Yeah, it was so funny because he told me he was all like, yeah, like, you know, I was like hesitant at first. And, but then when I got in the water, I had no choice. Yeah, he's a, uh, I was like, you don't have to do. He went to Apple Island yesterday. We did three dives. What? And then yeah. he did a night dive. At Apple Island? No, they not. Oh, I didn't. I didn't go, but our we went. You know, we we had a group go. But so he did the three apple dives. Came back. He's like, when's the night dive? I was like, Jesus. So when he first got here, he's like, I don't feel like spending money. You know, how much is a shirt? Yeah, and, he's and then by the end, he's like, here, just take my whole wallet. Yeah, and he said he's coming back and made it his advance. Yeah, he's coming back next month for not just advance. He's doing. Oh yeah, he did his night course. He did open water. He's gonna do nitrox advance. He's like, and and Mar Major Marjorie too, a bunch of addicts. I need to start showing up to work more. Yeah, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, the New York is uh, supposed. To, I haven't been there, but it's supposed to be an awesome wreck. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure that's the one that my friend. He's like a uh, top instructor trainer for TDI. I think that's the, the wreck that he is doing the course this week for the uh, advanced wreck and technical wreck. Technical side mount advanced wreck course. TDI advanced wreck, I think it is. I'm pretty sure he told me it was the New Yorker or the New York whatever. What are you doing? Uh, you freaking addict, man! Go, yeah. go get geared up. <laughs> go get, go get geared up. <laughs> See ya. Now the wreck is called the New York, and it's in the Subic Bay, uh, Philippines, where 
a whole fleet of ships were bombed. In Subic, it's all American ships that got bombed, and then in Corona, it's all the Japanese ships that got bombed. Like entire fleets, as far as I know. I've been to the Corona. Filipino. Filipino boats are just, they they sink on their own. Oh, 120 feet? Dude, that's not bad. That's like a good deco dive. Yeah, that's the yeah, advanced. Like Remember we were going to go do advanced wreck in Subic? Yeah, that's that. That's that one. <laughs> but we're too, we're too poor because we're going to Tubatawa. <laughs> <laughs> I think I cut up on. Uh, I, when, are they going diving now or what? Uh, yeah, he's good. You they figure out where they're gonna go? Who, Mark? Oh, Peter's diving. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, they're getting in the pool, man. I think he was more embarrassed than anything. Yeah. But what about this group? Are they ready or what? Uh, Noel and yeah. I think they already left, didn't they? Yeah, they already left. I thought you said this guy was joining. Okay. No, it's the end day. Uh, okay. Avery, New York. Huh? What do you say? Yeah, right. I don't. I, I don't know if. He, I don't know if he's really from New York. We were just joking because yeah, he's. So. You can tell the Americans that just get off the plane here in like the paradise tropics. They're still like they're angry. They always have their phone. They're yeah. intense. They're like. You're gonna get sued. I'm like, yeah, even even Peter was like, I hate instigators. I just want to slap that guy in the face. <laughs> I told him, I'm like, dude, we're not in America. I mean, stop trying to cause problems where there ain't any. I know, it's not our resort. If it was, we would have all this stuff cleaned up, and we'd have a beautiful, beautiful oh, chef. Dude, a beautiful chef. <laughs> if I own this place, it'd be. It's already. It's already going crazy, but. I miss I miss the other chef. Where's so Victor good. diving at? He's not diving. He's not? He's, he's going home. Oh, he's leaving? No, he left his uh, boots here. <laughs> you can't dive because you look. It looks like you got freaking scabies or something. We need this help. We need this help. I can dive. Uh, I can help you. Oh, yeah. Maybe the, I mean, the. They're doing. Mark knows what he's doing. No, no, no. Victor. Oh, Victor. Looking for the. I need another. I need to get the boat finished, or we need to get another truck, because everybody's going in different spots, diving. That's why I love Dowin. The biodiversity is insane, but you can drive to every site. You can you can get there in like uh, two minutes without any planning or whatever. Subic Bay wreck called the New York. Bunch of wrecks in Subic, including a few that were scuttled on purpose to block it from use. Also, I didn't know there's a old Spanish ship. That's kind of cool. How good a shape is that? Uh, you know, how good of a... Uh, is that a good wreck dive? We don't have any wrecks. I'd like to see... Hammerheads on some island in Bohol. Forgot the name. Finn Solom. I talked to Finn yesterday. He's in Tubata right now seeing hammerheads. But uh, we go next week. I heard he's going to be there for like three months. In Tubataha? Yeah. No, I they're doing... I don't know. I, 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 I The Tubataha season is three months, but I don't know if he's... I, I doubt he's going to be there the whole time. I don't know. Uh, Freaking Mark Reed. When are you going to show me where those are? Five meters. <laughs> Judea said, unless it's five meters, I can't go. I went there, but no, no, I'm red. No. Yeah. You guys like these waters? Unflavored, no sugar. Nobody likes them, so I buy them. Nobody steals mine. Island in Boho. Opening them and pouring them out. I'll just buy them. <laughs> yeah, there's some hammerheads in uh, Balakasag or Pamilikan Island, maybe. I don't know. There's a snake island. Get a chair. There's a snake. There's an island between Sikihor and Bohol. It's it's. It, I think it's like an underwater island, really, like a pinnacle. Yeah. Look on YouTube or Facebook or something. It's just full of. It's like a snake, a uh, sea snake breeding ground. It looks awesome. It'd be pretty scary, but. Uh, it looks awesome.
Got to answer some emails. It says it's in Palawan. No. Also known as... No, I don't know if this one has a name, because I think it's more of a... Just like a little island with snakes? Not even a... I don't even <laughs> think it's above water. I think it's just a really shallow pinnacle or something. But it looks insane. Is it true? You, man, did I skip some... Uh, oh, what's up, Mark? When are you going to come diving with us? I, I finally got my uh, side mount gear. We made it... Uh, I don't know if I showed it on video because we made it for the new channel. Next video. It's on the next video. No, it, no for uh, us. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, is it true you can't own land in the Philippines if you're not a citizen? Yeah, pretty much. There's a lot of ways around it. Why is Ellis promoting a different dive shop, lol? <laughs> so it's support, guys. Come Fucking on. Elvis. We're all a community here. Elvis, are you, you know, that we're Somebody all, noticed that, we're like, all... fast. They noticed it so fast. Said, lol, at the end. Yeah, that's our friend's shop. We did, uh... What was it called? Scuba Olympics? Yeah, Scuba Olympics. We did Scuba Olympics and uh, my boys won. We got first and third, right? Yeah. yeah. Out of all, and this is when... We were new divers. He was like a brand new open water diver, I think. <laughs> like 20 divers. And his, so his little brother was like advanced or something. <laughs> and we beat all the dive masters of the other shops. First and third. So they gave him a shirt and then like a trophy or something. Uh, yeah, you can't really own land. You can, uh, well, I'm married, so I can. You can also start corporations and stuff like that. That's what like most people do. And have Filipino partners, whatever. Uh, no, but here's what you can do. You can... You could have someone you trust buy it, like a Filipino, and then they can sign over the rights to you. You'd have to be here a long time and trust them time. quite a bit, like us, but most people are in this, in America. <laughs> you can lease land for like 50 years, and there's all kinds of stuff. We sell real estate. No way! Don't trust, don't trust Ann. <laughs> Unless you make me coffee, then I. Somebody, it's so easy to buy creamer. If you want a change of diving, which some, we got friends in Okinawa at the base or next to the base. He teaches military. Um. I'll get there eventually. They got a, they discovered a new seahorse, a pygmy seahorse species there that's only there, and I really want to go. But, um, Judea, they're gonna fix the hole. Not that one. They need to fill it like all the way, not three little rocks. I really want. We do. We got a whole list of places we want to go though, in Japan. Well, Judea wants to go to Japan the worst, but for diving, I don't know. I cold water. He gets cold here. Imagine Japan, dude. You would. Pretty freezing, man. I need a damn. He, he cries dives. here. He doesn't even like doing night dives because he's so cold. <laughs> Tons of sea snakes, also. Yeah, they got a, a new. The, the smallest pygmy seahorse in the world, the smallest pygmy, which is tiny, they found it in Japan. It's all there, as far as I know. In Adelaide now, back in April. Oh, what? We went, he, uh, Mark went diving with us in his side mount for a night dive. Had to show him some cool stuff. But our other friend does exploring at Apple Island for uh, a big shipwreck and deep uh, sharks. <laughs> yeah, you notice quick. Uh, take your freaking shirt off. God dang. 
No, I don't mean like, I mean get another one. Yes, I'm just kidding. That's my friend's shop. We're friends with everybody. <laughs> We're crazy. Yeah, yeah. Tsunami. 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 Warning. Where? Uh, somewhere in... Yeah, sorry. Let's do some dry suit dives. Batanis. I'm actually waiting for... Uh, Batanis has a tsunami warning? Yeah, Batanis group, Ireland, Skadayan. Cool, you could live stream a tsunami. Dude, that'd be cool. That mean tsunami? I mean, not really, but... <laughs> Be cool if you were. Uh, yeah, dude, I think I'd love that. <laughs> if you get some content. Yeah, dude, that would be crazy. Imagine the video. Justin, my mom said she watched the Japanese ship sink from the hills of Lorena. That's awesome. That's such a cool story. I love. I love history. I dove a lot in Koron. All the sh a lot of shipwrecks. Including some uh, fighter planes. What's your opinion on diving in Philippines in September? I love it. October is octopus season. We saw 35 octopus in one dive. And they're like four. It's probably like guaranteed four on every dive. So I like diving year round. Honestly, the worst were like December to March. Worst visibility and waves and everything. It's it's cool for us, but for like our teaching for students and stuff, the waves and everything, it kind of sucks. But April, May, right now there's an insane amount of species everywhere. I filmed like three or four really rare Melaby nudibranch yesterday. Um, Ambon scorpion fish, a lot of cool stuff. It was insane. <laughs> Can you send Bellic buying box in my name? Yeah. Or does that have to be under Filipino name? That doesn't have to. It can be under his name, it doesn't have to be a Filipino name. Who's this? Oh, never mind. Oh, that's, that's Todd. Todd? No. <laughs> Judea, go, go see what he wants. Hello. Hold on, guys. Um, couple questions. Do you rent out um, masking pins for snorkeling? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, okay. And then, uh, I wanted to do that, but I just kind of, was there, I know there's a marine sanctuary way down on that way. Is there any other this way? Or just that one? Yeah, there's that one right there. Yeah. Yeah, with those, like, white, uh, white yeah. in the water. You see the, you see the boat and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's some big schools and, uh, not, not the greatest reef ever, but, okay. uh, Really beautiful. A lot of fish and cool stuff. Well, as far as as far as diving goes, uh, which I, I'm I'm, a, I'm an actually dive master. Uh, it's been a while, it's been a while but um, I was wondering like what you what kind of little things are offered here uh, as far as like simple you know not even four or five hour excursions or what what kind of things you do here. Oh, we're just doing coastal dives right now. We have three to four or five. Well, we can we go every day. Just like coastal dives. Yeah, we did you see the group that just left in the dive truck? They were going there, there's like ten or twenty dive sites They've here. Done like every dive site. Just depends on what we want or what you want to see. Mm -hmm. So these guys, there's a photographer or two, they wanna see like rare species, they're going to the I whatever. See. Uh huh. And some other guys wanna see the sanctuary, uh, reef and all that. Uh huh. So uh, what's the max depth on these reefs? That you use around the most max area. max depth would be 40 meters, but we usually average 15 or 10. I think the main sanctuary reef is around like 25, 30 at the, at the most. But on the way back, we circle back five meters. Yeah. Well, because yeah, I went to that sanctuary like about a year or two ago, and uh, I was impressed at how I mean, just right off the beach, like boom, huge coral. Yeah. Um, but so it gets it gets as deep as we want. Yeah. Yesterday lot. when I went, there was like freaking huge schools of sardines. Yeah, it's fun to see schools like that. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, barracuda, uh -huh. those small, oh skinny God, ones. There's a freaking huge barracuda there this year. This is not a huge barracuda. Yeah, huge to me. <laughs> I one time I was a big, one I've seen. I was in the Bahamas we, one time. We have a school over there. This, I, I look over, my friend, he's really inexperienced. He barely can swim, you know. He's a, there's like a 
six foot long barracuda right behind him. I mean, God. literally this. Yeah, we, we have a no idea we have a school that's there. been here like for years, and uh, I mean they're like six seven footers. Yeah. yeah, these ones are like a baby. They stay in the sanctuary for protection or mm -hmm. food or whatever. Well, I might um, just start out with uh, just a little snorkeling. I just like to keep things light. It's just personal preference, but uh, but I, I might I think yeah, for a dive. I'll think about it. I mean, you're in the Philippines, man. That's the <laughs> highlight of the entire country. Yeah, I guess it'd be a little silly. I I, 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 I did a dive here once or twice, but I think once by Boracay and once one of Puerto uh, Vallejo or something. Puerto Vallejo. Yeah, perfectly. Actually, I did an incredible snorkeling there. Could have been. Just good. I should have dove though, because I did. If the snorkeling is good, the diving would be a hundred times better. Yeah. I mean, it's just a fact of life. So what are you, what what's like the process and the fees? How does it work? Like if uh, I mean, it's two thousand a dive, okay. and it includes all the the guide, the gear, the okay. sanctuary, everything. Okay, and then what is what how, the timing? Usually. Uh well, first one we usually do nine o'clock, and then after that we kind of. Unless unless you miss the group, then we could do uh, another one because I got plenty of dive masters. Uh, but after that, maybe eleven. It just depends. Some people are slow, fast. Maybe we get to talking or eating. We just plan the first one at nine. Oh, okay. So you usually get out at some point for a second trip. Yeah. And so like, no, we do one, come back, get tanks, relax, and then go figure out where we want to go on the next one. Uh huh. Uh, how do you usually? What's the average group size right now? Three, very small. That's good. Yeah. Um, so I do four for one dive master. Mm -hmm. Four max. Okay. For one guide. So if we did, I would probably opt for later. But if we went at nine, like what time would we return? Depends on how long you stay in the water. Oh. Ten, ten thirty. Depends on where we drive. But if we're going right here. Well, I mean, if you have a ten-minute drive, or you, you're you're, oh, that's, that's, I mean, that's you're talking, you're whatever. So, but basically, it's like a few hours. This is typical. Oh, no, it's it's you got an hour dive and you oh, ten minutes of driving. Okay. Well, that sounds good. That's one of the reasons I don't go diving is because it's usually like these big groups and there's a lot of waiting and you know it's kind of a it's like a no. Nah. We, we can even go out here if they if if the current is right. right All right. Here. Well, I might take you up on and that. And then it's then only about that. No planning, and just real quick. Yeah, that's that's good. I, yeah. As long as it's like simple, but uh, all right. Um, so I guess you got your group out there. Yeah, not complicated, man. Just tell me when you want to go. We go. All right. I may today just go for a little snorkel anyway. Yeah, she can hook you up. Oh, okay. Oh, all they, right. They, they ah. uh, you have one way? Elvis. You got fins? Yeah, the white one. Okay. I'm on the snorkeling. Um, I'm gonna start the snorkel gear first. Yeah. How much gold? To rent snorkel here for the uh, company. Like 250 a day, huh? 250 a day. For the whole day? Yeah, for the whole day. Okay. Whether it's an hour or 20 hours. Right. Or one minute. <laughs> 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 Try not to go. Don't go just for one minute. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll pick it up on my way uh, to the to the place. Okay. Wow. Alright, thanks everybody. Thank you. Jadir, can he send a bulk buying box here in his name or does it have to be in a Filipino name? How would they know if it's a Filipino he's name? If it, it, it's like he has an address. Yeah, yeah he just needs to have a Filipino address. address. How would they know? Ah, uh, this sir. Sir, this don't sound Filipino, huh? Charge double. Okinawa. Uh, it will be safe. <laughs> Okinawa is where I got all my certs, got a tons of dives there. It's tropical bullshit. What what how cold is the water? How warm? What's the temperature of the water? Huh? I was holding this instead of the mic. Oops. How How warm is the water? We're freezing when it hits twenty six Celsius here. Cool. We had to go buy him like he looks like a Michelin man underwater. He's got like five wetsuits. 
takes him, if we go to go diving, it takes him 30 minutes. No, it's, it's not. It's you know like it a... Like, you know it takes me like five minutes to get ready. It's like a girl going to prom. Nah, it takes okay, me like I mean five minutes. It doesn't take him that long. Bullshit. Nah, he's, he's got, he's he's got a skin suit. Justin so long. Yeah, Justin, the very last Justin will, yeah, Justin will Because I wait till last second, but yeah. Yeah. he, he's got a skin suit. I get, I get ready before our divers come. Yeah. And I get their gear ready. I'm not saying... Ready. Everything's ready. I'm not saying then, you don't plan it correctly, but it still takes time. And then everyone's already geared up, and then Justin walks up, he's like, I guess I'll get ready now. <laughs> right when everyone's about yeah, to walk Yeah, because like, I got 400 walk. things going on. You guys are just like, do nothing, dive. Do nothing, dive. Like, I got... No way, no way. Justin will just stand there. He'll be like, I guess it's time to get ready. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Weirdos. Jesus. But I want to know how cold the water is. Yeah, but what do I have to get ready? I wear shorts and a shirt. And then Malinky put his gear all together. I'll say, Princess, you're, you're looking about. useless. You know how many times he... Uh, I know. Elvis told me, he, like, whenever I started, like, setting up your gear and stuff. Elvis he was, was laughing. Like, he's like, ha, ha, Yeah, Elvis was like, okay, oh, God, I don't have to do this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we did again. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember. Come to Vancouver. Yeah, all right. I do want to because I do I do love the critters and stuff. I want to see stuff that we don't see here, but man, I don't like the cold. We're waiting for. I am getting a wet uh, dry suit because I want to do that record dive, but it takes it's expensive. I think the dry suit's like fifteen hundred dollars, right? Where's the boat? Oh my god. I can only answer this so many times in one video without. Where's the boat, Justin? It's it's. We're waiting for wood. It's rowing still. We're waiting for a shipment so we can finish the outriggers. Three degrees Celsius in Vancouver. Where's the cute girls at? There's none. Right there. Here. Can I can I can I switch the camera around? Uh, what's going on in Philly, in the Philippines? You been diving lately? We'll be back in September, October. Yeah, that's a good time. They did open water in advance, right? I think probably Nitrox too. Good morning, Philly. <laughs> that happy video was a pain in the ass. It took us forever to film. Everyone loves it, but... I know, I took, like, even, like, the timing, like, whenever they did the claps, it matched the song, like, that was a ticket for everyone. We had to drive to all the resorts, even if they knew we were coming, they are like, do what now? We had to, like, to spend, like, two hours trying to convince them for, like, a little five-second clip. So we had, what, Misty and Elvis and whoever, alright, this is how, <laughs> they would have to, like, show the video that we want to do, do a little demonstration. Yeah, they'd laugh. The firehouse. And it takes. They're all shy, so it took. It took thirty minutes. Come on, you you look cool. Just yeah, uh. That's good. That's good. Don't worry. Here, do it on camera now. Yeah. It's so funny seeing like the videos before you guys put it together because it's just people going. Yeah, no music. Yeah, we're like, all right, smile or something. But <laughs> funny, funny fact: when I lived in Egypt, I made the same video, with uh, our town in uh, Dahab. It's called Happy Dahab. I'm. Sh I think. <laughs> I'm not in the video. I was filming it and stuff. My friends are all the dive shops are in there. There are a lot of them. Uh, no, yeah. I don't know where we posted it, but it's on YouTube, not my. I didn't have YouTube back then. I was a writer. Yeah. It's somebody else. One of my friends is YouTube or something. Uh, customer dude, just do it. Yeah, that's that's what you got to do. They talk themselves out of it. Twenty-eight in the summer. It gets about 29, maybe. I bet you anything it gets to 30 degrees 30. here this year. It's so hot. But 23? <laughs> Elvis would Elvis would have a three-minute dive and then go cry. Yep. Sounds about right. Three millimeter. He wears more than three millimeters here in 26, 27. Yeah. <laughs> Two millimeter shorty. He wears a skin suit. I got a five mil wetsuit. I got a three mil hood. I got I got a skin suit. 
And then I have like five mil boots, and then I also have like three mil shorts, cargo shorts. Yeah. It's still damn cool. He's, he's got more money in, in wetsuits than dive gear. He's like, I could cheap out on everything except for the warmth. Yeah. Gotta think of a dry suit next. For this 27 three, water. Three degrees. <laughs> I'm from Colorado, so I should, shouldn't complain, but... Uh, yeah, there's a powerful earthquake in Taiwan. That's why there's a tsunami warning in Judea. Huh? There's a... Tsunami? Uh, earthquake in Taiwan, that's why. 7.5. Yeah. And then Taiwan is close to Batanis. I'd really like to go diving in Batanis. Maybe we should put that on our list when we do the um, the micro series. Tsunami. I hope it's not too bad. There's not a lot of people living in Batanis, but there's enough. All right, we got to get to work. We gotta film like four videos today for the new channel, so we can launch that soon. I uh, I cried, Rick, but I mean I didn't know any better. I, I that's where I grew up, but it it actually gets hotter in the summer than here, but it's you know it gets like 100, 110 degrees or 120, but it it's zero humidity. You can go in the shade and you're fine. Here there's 80 or 90 degrees, but it's just you can't escape. It's just hot all the time, everywhere. Yeah, Justin was a little shy boy back when he was in college. <laughs> what? His, his professor told us that himself. What? No, he didn't. He did it. I was the oldest one in our class. Yeah, but he was like... He I was, was like, buying oh, the beer. The way, I was you asked, the way you asked, he was like, Oh, you guys are backpacking? Do you think I could do oh, that? Oh, shit. <laughs> Do you think I could do that? <laughs> I walked in because their their trip the the month the previous trip was Indonesia. I was like, I'm going on your next trip. Liar. Nah, nah, the professor. I don't the care. Professor stated. No, he so. didn't. He did it. Dude. I said, I don't care where you're going. And then he's like, Southern Africa. I was like, that sucks, but like, fine. Oh, you're going to Africa? Do you, can you think I, I can go? Oh, oh shit. Do you think I can go? <laughs> <laughs> So I basically I was acting like I was acting like you do every day. Oh no! Little <laughs> Louis, come here. Stop looking my foot. All right. No, that's what, that's what the I told him I'm going. I don't care where they're going. I thought they were going to Indonesia again, but... They're like, Southern Africa's like... Alright. He's like, oh, not Indonesia? Maybe next time. Yeah, because Indonesia was like a dive trip. But... I was going to go... You must be paying for your Because you're able to travel, like... If I didn't go on that trip... You wouldn't be diving right now. You wouldn't even know what diving was. Yeah, yeah. Thank goodness he Neither would I. crawled out of his shy little shell and asked. <laughs> you think I was ever shy? Yeah. For sure. Like jammer shy? Who? Oh. Hello. Hi, guys. <laughs> Very not that shy. Nobody's. Yeah, it's snow. Snow sucks. I lived in between Aspen and Telluride. Grand Mesa area. Oh, I like sledding. <laughs> yeah. Sledding was pretty fun. Yeah. Aspen is the ski destination that most of the rich people go. Yeah, I used to. My job in high school was delivering lost luggage from the airport. <laughs> so in the winter, it sucked. We'd have to drive up to like Aspen, but all the streets are like heated. Ice. No, they're heated. <laughs> so I'd be like, wow, this ain't bad, and I'm driving, and then I open my window, and it's like negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Right. It sucked. Yeah, so, so. Somebody so, asked if you're shy. Why don't you get on camera? Guys. It's it's so awkward. It's so awkward. Guys, sorry. I'm not shy. <laughs> 
That's exact. Oh, that's exactly how this smacks it works. I'll just awkwardly stand there. Want to do some diving? All right. The diving here sells itself. We just happen to film it all and make it look cool. <laughs> well, we don't make it look cool. We just show how cool it is. Yeah. LV. Elvi. Uh, I was just in Taipei for three nights. Guess I left at the right time. One of our gear manufacturers in Taiwan. See you around May 24. Oh, you got a date now? Did you find a house or whatever? Where is he from originally? And how did he... All right. So here, we're going to get my whole life story right now. So uh, I was born here. And, um, you know, my dad was like delivering like karaoke machines for like 100 pesos a day or like $2 a day, basically. And, you know, he got sick of it. And, uh, you know, that wasn't like really healthy living, supporting a family of five and stuff. So, um, karaoke is not healthy for anyone. I like, I like to sing karaoke. You guys should uh, come down to the dive shop. I'll sing you as a song. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we went, we went to Colorado. Uh, just me and Princess and my dad. And then we got what my about mom. Jammer. No, we got oh, them no, over like a year me. later, right? Because there was like uh, a lot of the process of citizenship and everything. You like left that. his ass here. Yeah, with my mom. Dude, it was like my dad said that whenever we were leaving him, we like, uh, my dad was like, oh, go take Jerry out for ice cream, and then we left. <laughs> yeah, we left, and then he came no back. No wonder he's awkward. Yeah, he came back, and he was like running through the house crying, looking for us. Yeah, there's like a whole picture. I felt so damn bad. You guys' family story is horrible. Awesome. I know, we, we've been through some stuff. It's awesome. You know, but um, uh, where was I? So, yeah, then we lived in Colorado for 10 years, and then... We were like gonna do a vacation to the Philippines, and then like I was like, nah, let's just move, man. This place sucks. So we sold everything and moved. That was Colorado, wasn't it? Yeah. So we sold everything like, and moved from Colorado to here, and then Justin and my dad. How did you end up in Dumaguete, though? Weren't you? Uh, like, Cause my dad was talking to Paul, like the old dog. And he was really? like, yeah. No, yeah, my was dad like, was watching his videos back in America. Like he was like sitting on his like little recliner, being like, Paul just posted a new video. So like, yeah, he's like. Me and Paul are texting right now. <laughs> so like everybody. So you didn't go to back to Mindanao. You came to Dumaguete. Yeah. Yeah. But um, but it was because he was talking to Paul and then Coolis becoming Filipino and he was like buying Coolis' shirt and he was like, look at my shirt. Becoming Filipino. <laughs> it was hilarious, man. I know. Like the first night we got here, we were in like Cebu, right? And we stayed at like this resort. And my dad had a full Van Halen like. Head to toe outfit. He was just sitting there like, this is where I belong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then he'd like wear his like zebra leggings and zebra pajamas uh, everywhere. The red and white. Yeah. <laughs> but um, my dad and Justin at first, and then Jammer. Jammer They'll be dumb, horses, dumb. And then um, we went to Oppo. I was just a snorkeler. And then on the last dive, Justin took me down on his uh, spare regulator. And then... Uh, yeah, Jammer was our first yeah, first, was first, first student in your family. Yeah. And he did a shitload of courses because he, like, got addicted. Yeah. But he's not 18, so he couldn't really go much farther. But he's already a master diver. Master diver. But he can't be a, a master diver. is basically a dive master without responsibilities. Yeah. He's not allowed to be responsible for other people or whatever. But he has the same training and skills or whatever. He's got a lot. He had a lot of dives, right? Yeah. Maybe eight, seventy or something. There was an eighty. Eighty. Yeah. But he, we can't, you know, he's got to stay in school and all that. He's not a degenerate. I dropped out. You're lucky I dropped out. You're yeah, lucky. You want me to drop out? No, I made, I made a ton of videos. Come on. Yeah, and you did a ton of courses. <laughs> like. Which I didn't pay for. Multiple thousand dollar. No, dude, dude. Many, it's, many I, hardships. I don't know what I was going to get to, and they were just like, oh, technical diving, technical diving, side <laughs> mount. I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, you were a degenerate before you got here. I didn't, it's not my fault. <laughs> you, you, but Jammer had to stay in school because he's only 13. And I dropped out because I didn't want to work some dumb desk job or 
Beautiful. There's not many jobs here in the Philippines. He dropped out because he had a girlfriend. <laughs> no, 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 I'm being serious though. I didn't want to be like, I didn't want to be like working long hours behind a desk or anything like that. I get paid to play around in the water. And now look at him. He's look at him. He's sitting right now behind a desk for hours. <laughs> Elvis spent like majority of like the school year when we first got here not going to school. He would like show up, go eat lunch, and then just like sit around. <laughs> he wouldn't do anything else. Dude, because like the, well, the way they taught yeah. was just so worthless. Elvis, <laughs> 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 no, did I come here? No, no, I was like, did anything of you? Go, go talk to this guy. Uh, he's coming in. Uh oh, guys. Shh. Watch out. Be careful. <laughs> Watch him fall. That's the biggest danger in the country. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's super hot though. It's not working great. Well, it's okay. No, it's really hot just it's better than outside. But it's like it's 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 gonna be super hot this month and for you know this year. Yeah. Or the rest of our lives. I'm yeah. Sorry to say. That's the reality. So you have a guy going out probably
Let's see where they want to go on the. Let's see where they want to go on the next one. I'll jump in the pool for a while and gather up my junk. Uh, come back here at the eleven. Or yeah, probably. Yeah, we'll get. Look for that blue, blue vehicle coming back or something. The the van, yeah. silver, little silver one. I own silver. You know that one? No, she don't know anything. I'm loading. Loading. I think I'm in old old song mode this morning. Also, too much caffeine. Way too much. Caffeine. That one's even. That one's even older. Well, so am I. I hope one day I can say that I'm an 80 year old diver. It'll yeah. Take, it'll take a while. Just had one yesterday, 89. No, he was 80. Oh, he was 80? I thought he said 89, but he was... Uh, He's 80, right? 89 is quite unlikely, unfortunately. Well, we've had some. Our For students, it's 78 is our record. Eight, 10 and 78. I am just a kid. Yeah, you're young. You're too young. So this is your business, is it? Yeah, me and her. Ah, wonderful. It's a good name, I like the name. Have a couple of... What are your t-shirts made of? Uh, they're like the quick dry ones, not not all... Uh, they're synthetic. Yeah. As opposed to... Okay. They're made of success. They're almost, not, almost everybody's got cotton. They're not too hot. Cotton is... Oh, it, it always shrinks. Yeah, they don't shrink and it's not too hot. You know, with me, they're, they're always tight in the shoulders and then baggy around. 2X. That's all I'm joking. Mm. Which one? Probably need a larger size. Your Filipino size or 2X? I'm Filipino size. Well, Filipino. To a Filipino, you're a giant. Yeah. Double extra. Oh, no dice things on it. Just something right there. Yeah. Well, that's octopus. That's all you need. That's pretty good. Okay. Nothing in a yeller that's going to work for me? I doubt it. They're, uh, mm -hmm. the, they're, that's the biggest size, and that's Elvis size. Yeah. Oh, they're back already. We might go before 11. No, that's that the end. Oh, that's... Oh, never mind. Different divers. Okay. Well, I might snag that one. one, one. Much, what, There's a light blue, an army green, and a gray, and a black. Well, let's see the light blue. Too. How much are your shirts? Thousand. Yeah. For you, because you travel from from the other side of the world. That's why we're thousand. <laughs> uh, that's 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 Filipino math. Yeah, Filipino. That sounds a better. I think you need both. I mean, why pick? Why 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 make hard decisions? Yeah, because you've got a hundred of them at home. Yeah, but you don't have a hundred of these. I might as well replace. I might as well replace them. If I buy more than one, I have to charge you for advertising. You don't want that. I'm charging you for the the privilege. Yeah, these are different types of shirts. They're made with success. Yeah. Master, more master, Filipino logic. Master of Bula Bula is. <laughs> <laughs> Good way to start off with a little bit of Bula Bula. I'm not quite sure how that translates. I think it means bullshit. Yeah, but it works. You are low. It's well known. It usually, it you usually are. generates a laugh. We're going from to the get another piece. Mm. Okay. I'll have to try that on. Yeah, the thank you so much. In the I have to try it on in the privacy of my room. The black one or the blue one? The black one, the last. Yeah. That one is really nice, this one. I know, I like the black one. The black and pink? Or black and white? Mm -hmm. No, I like that one. I like the way it stands out. Oh, see? See? It means, see, it really stands out. Yeah, you're going to be walking around and everyone's going to be like, you have a Crater Republic shirt. And you're the man. Mm -hmm. I guarantee say, he's coming yep, back. I do, and they'll say, where the hell is that? <laughs> Darwin. I look for Philippines. Yeah. Well, I'll say Darwin and they'll say, where the hell is that? Yeah, I'll Philippines. Philippines. And then they'll say, where? Oh. Yep. Oh, yeah, Philippines. Yep. <laughs> yeah, try that one on, but it's probably your size. That's the most common size for Americans. Okay. We almost run out of pinks now, somebody says. Okay. Yeah, I... I shall return, so I want to go for swing. I got it. 
Can you can talk to Jean? I think they're starting a course right now. Let's see if she uh, needs anything. I think they want to, we're using the classroom. No, they're going to just go directly now. Have you got a nice Critter Republic stamp? Mm, yeah, you got a logbook? Yeah. yeah. Do bears shit in the woods? Yeah. A hobby horse, I, I got a sticker too. You got a sticker? I might. Yes. I might part with. Yeah. Well, here's this one for now. I gotta go get my dive log. Oh, here you go. Oh. She'll give you. Go get your dive log later and I'll get a stamp. Okay, put one, I'll put one there. Yeah. I'll put one there. Damn good idea. Right beside my tattoo. <laughs> That's where should go. Too much information. Tattoos right? are free if it says Critter Republic. Are they? Mm -hmm. And we ch choose where. We... <laughs> That's the deal. In my case, I could be quite an issue. Yeah. <laughs> nobody, nobody said yes. I don't know why. I know I'm part of I don't have any more stickers. Anyway, just come back when you're ready and that'll get you sorted out. Yeah, man. What's your name? I'm Justin. Justin, Justin. Rob. Wow. Rob. Wow. Elvis. Elvis? You can remember that. Tanaga. Oh, oh, Tanaga. Yes, oh, oh, Tanaga. You, you know. There's a sticker. Oh. <coughs> Third sticker. This one. Don't bring this one because it looks like a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta? <laughs> I don't like that. Lord. You know, it lo it looks like the bait bar for fishing. Like, oh like, yeah. You know that like this. And Let me then see. I I not like that. Look, try. Oh mm, oh. Mm. It's huh? like uh yeah. No, you're gonna get that in my head. No. No, but this one is for the squid. Fishing. Yeah. <laughs> Just. You're the worst. I'm a fisher woman. You know? <laughs> don't, don't. We see photography subjects. She sees their food. food. Yeah. yeah. I'm a Filipino. All right. Is this one put her clothes? I don't want to. Yeah. Have yeah. Watch Thank your, you. Watch your step. Watch. I'll film you. Yeah, you, you can't walk through that door. If you fall, I'm filming you. <laughs> Tripping hazard here on the way out. I asked yeah. already the day to. Yeah. yeah, but it's better when we get to film stuff. <laughs> you know, I was talking to my wife when... Uh, Is she yeah. Filipino? No, she's in Canada at the moment. And I'm filming over here, showing her the water and all that. I pointed it here. And who should come out and do his, his ass over tea kettle face plant? And right? I bet that's his favorite moment. Oh, no doubt. Oh, no. Years to come. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to Iggy. Yep, he he passed his dive master training. I think I found a place in uh, Dowen. Good. That's where you need to be. Great kids. I'm sure they both have a bright future. No, not really. <laughs> Dark future. <laughs> Why is the phone ringing? It's yours today. Oh. Who is that? Hello? No sound. She put you on mute for some reason. Good night. Sound is good for me. Princess broke it. Yeah! It's Justin's fault. You make it seem like everything's my fault. You think I can read lips? <laughs> Go to Raquel? And Soros are so gone. Not sure what any of that means. Uh, princess definitely broke something. No way, Where's that puppy? Under your chair. This guy's never gonna leave. I had. Where are we at? I had sound for a minute, but gone now. Is it? Is it back now? Someone wants to see the puppy. How the sounds back? This guy's never gonna leave. Yeah, we need more pink. We kind of stopped stalking him because it's a pain in the ass. We have like not that many. Can I get a shout out from Princess? <laughs> Who said that? You look like Patrick Star if you wear pink. 
That's that's a compliment. Uh, you got your shirt two weeks ago, from here or online, Malibu. Four X. Yeah. A little bit. Is there a 4X? You're doing live, live sailing, then you say? We, we only got a few. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hit those Filipino live streaming uh, Facebook. Oi, oi, 1,000 or, okay, 400. <laughs> Comment one. Comment one. <laughs> Comment one, you win. Join late. Where's the puppy? Is there? No, there's no topic. What the hell? There's never a topic. There was a topic, but people keep coming into the shop. <laughs> no, there's no, there's no espresso machine. We definitely, why, why have we not got that yet? We usually just, we usually just go across the street. We got what? Yeah, we got. And we got and makes me coffee, but. Oh yeah, like the like cafe. We should have a fancy. Uh, Coffee Dude, bar. you want to make some money? Get one of those tricycle things, a tricycle, and uh, you know, you, you see the one by the the market that has like barbecue and shit in the back. Do you like oh, espresso? Yeah, I think I know what you mean. Park it next to here with it, like where the tanks are, and do sell coffee and stuff. Oh yeah. There you go. I just made you rich. Oh, sell bad. burritos like Phil. Especially Dude, yeah. You'll yeah, sell a million burritos. Like whenever everyone gets here super early during the oppo trips. So yeah. You guys, you oh, dude. Coffee, yeah. Coffee and burritos. We'll just make a, we'll just make a apple trip every day just for the coffee, sales. Yeah. Uh, am I the only one without a critter shirt? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Get your. Yeah, dude. Get your life together. I mean, <laughs> there's critter shirts everywhere. Our other instructors here. Hello. What's going on today? How are you? Your, your students not hungover now? Not hungover. Or uh, jet, jet lag? Yes. Pretty good. Jet. Jet. They, they were completely out yesterday. Today they slept and then you could. You're going to use a classroom? No, I've uh, been done the classroom yesterday afternoon. So we're going to do pool today if that's okay. Yeah, there's a student already in the pool, but you guys can. Uh... Yeah, but that we, I think by the time we set up and everything, they will be out. Or... Maybe this guy's really slow. He he's probably gonna go all day, because I thought you guys are doing classroom today, and he'd be done tomorrow. You know. Uh, so I don't think you're bothering him as long as it's okay for you. Yeah, yeah, it's fine for me. Our other pool is too shallow. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. And it's super hot, no shade. Mark. Yeah, just make sure. Yeah. Or go with him, Judea. Huh? Go, go with him. I don't know if they met. You met already? Mark was your instructor? Yeah. Oh. What? He's my, uh, when I did my IDC, he's my assistant instructor. And then I did crossover with Ray with him also. Oh. I know him well. No, no need to. I didn't know that. <laughs> he's definitely going to not let you in. <laughs> we la we go we have long history. <laughs> yeah, he was my instructor for SDI. Ah, he's, he's he's my I mean he's my raid crossover instructor and then he's my pad, paddy assistant instructor. See now you need SDI. Oh, no <laughs> no uh, no he's my he's staff instructor for my paddy. Yeah, he was my instructor trainer for my IDC. Or my IE. Your IE, okay. Yeah. I mean, he's my both. Small. I didn't know you guys knew each other. That's funny. Anyway. Denmark is in the way. Just talk to him. Tell him to get out of the way. Hi, <laughs> Mark. <laughs> Wait, you're still in the pool? You're still in the pool? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Go, go see how they're going, though. Okay. So Elvis, right? Elvis will go with you. They're gonna see. Just tell them you're gonna do your own students. To, to just Elvis is gonna go with you and uh, tell them ah, okay. you're gonna use the pool too. Okay. It's 
probably okay. We always have, we usually have big groups anyway. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That one is quite wide. Yeah, yeah. And then you need to cross over to SDI. Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe. <laughs> July, we have IDC. Maybe. Elvis is going to do this. Shall we like diving somewhere? Yeah, you need to you need to move here. <laughs> yeah, I need to move. We'll make here. Katana instructor as well. Yeah. <laughs> and you can be staff instructor, course yeah. director. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, course director. Like this is ambassador. No, exam examiner. <laughs> <laughs> Better. Like Richard. <laughs> He's like, ah. Do you know Richard? Yeah. Great come? It's different. No. It's different with SDI though, yeah. and it's way cheaper. Yeah. It's you could be an instructor trainer or course director. It's all the same. Yeah. You don't need a staff instructor, an examiner. It's all instructor trainer. Uh, oh. And then TDI. I'm a uh, master. You die master. <laughs> no, she barely passed her. <laughs> she thinks. She, no, yeah, because she, she owns the business. She can go here and register herself. <laughs> oh, yeah, she, no, she's 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 urchin master. Yeah. <laughs> she can make her distinct speciality. Uh -huh. Urchin wrangler. Urchin hunting and urchin eating <laughs> and urchin cooking. <laughs> no wow. need cooking. Just eat it. You know, like because of you, this one guy, I with Alex on my own. Yeah. And then, so he's like, oh, finally, I was with her on her own. And then she bought me a ton of snow shoes. <laughs> 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 I had to eat it. I had to eat it. It's not, we went two nights ago, and there's a pile. I don't know if they're mating or what. There's a pile of sea urchins. They're making like a pyramid. It's so weird. And she's like, <laughs> I was like, God. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's like, hard to take I, her diving. I never, most of the time I go with ski tan. Yeah. Then he was not like, and then that guy, I was just here, he has full pocket of ski tan. He was like, see, you're yeah. loving it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's in, uh, there's one in California, it's so expensive. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's like expensive. a delicacy. Here, it's, huh? I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> it's expensive, it's a delicacy. But, yeah. I, but I'm more used to uh, having this. With Good to see you, Target. Uh, sorry, oh, we're busy. The shop. Uh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. <laughs> this is a office. It's a. It's okay. I ate two or three, and I was like. <laughs> uh, yeah, Philip. We have a website, so there's a company print on demand there, <laughs> or Europe. They just they'll ship it from there. I think the link, the link is in every video at the bottom. But it's better with soy sauce for me. Yeah, I just like it. Just like it on myself. Oh, you made you, you bought a coffee cup. I don't think we have any more here. I keep dropping them. Sea urchin tastes like poo. It oh, it's yummy. It's not yummy at all, and it's extra work. I extra work. Remember when, when she was a little baby, they go on the boat, little tiny rowboats to collect sea urchin, and it was her job to hold the bucket, and the diver go down, pick up a sea urchin, put it in the bucket, and she wasn't paying attention because you know she still doesn't. Thirty years later, and they they went like this and put it on her head, and, and she was all crying. Like all the yeah, you know, like it was like a thorny sea urchin. <laughs> I was like crying. Oh my goodness, and, you know, they, they told her that they're poisonous and they're going to inject something in your brain. So you're so every time she says something weird, I'm like, oh, that's your sea urchin logic. <laughs> she, even, she even thought about starting a YouTube channel called Sea Urchin Logic. Because it like... <laughs> Random. Just like things that don't make sense. Now, now people, people love these things that doesn't make sense. Yeah. Like it's random shit that's always the best. Like how often we spend hours watching random crap. Every day. Yeah. People are doing it right now. Yeah, we need to. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. No, but sea urchin are smart. You know? Sea urchin are smart. She's like team sea urchin. <laughs> urchin ambassador. It's yummy. You know? <laughs> it's yummy. It's nasty. It is. It is. Is it in Judea? Like she guy. never had one. No. Look, we got like we got a couple like right outside, man. I can just tell him. There's not the yeah. yeah he knows. Alex will bring it in. in. Yeah, yeah. They like you like cut it open. Cut it. It's like it's a like a shell, yeah, it's a and they just scoop it out like freaking caviar or something. But it tastes like it's like a tongue. It literally tastes like poop because that's what it is. No, you taste a poop. Seriously? It tastes like poop smells. I look it up, dude. It's really like, good. Uh, Thanks, Rick. Uh, Did I just see Elvis leave the building? <laughs> you have a flip phone? No. No? I don't think so. Yeah. Sear. It just tastes. It don't taste good. Is it salty? Mm, I don't. Remember. I don't think so. There's a lot of people on the beach. Is that the workers cleaning? Hokkaido? Uni? What is that? Is that like sea urchin? They put them... It just don't taste good, man. Even on sushi. Yeah, it's really... Oh, that's awesome, Just Mike. The shirts and the the stickers. Mike, is your last name Hale? I have a friend, Mike, in uh, that's a instructor in uh, Hawaii. Oh no, it's not different, Mike. Awesome man. It's good meeting you too. <laughs> it's hard to recognize people with. You know, anonymous channel <laughs> photo photos. No, his last name is not. Nah, urchin tastes good, but it's uh, mushy. Yeah, it's mushy. Mushy. And, and it tastes bad. I like caviar. Tastes like caviar? No. I think so, no. You guys, we'll go make a video. You'll try it. Tastes like poo. Oh, okay. Uni is Japanese for urchin, or uni. uni. Hokkaido is an island. I've only been to Tokyo. I'd really like to visit more of Japan. It doesn't taste like caviar. Unless you got some pooey caviar. Remember we had it in in Sikihor during your course. You're not eating. I had one. It it was gross. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll go try. You need to like savor it first before judging the. You said that about dried fish. And balut. All right. No, not salmon. There's probably yeah, that's roe. You know, salmon eggs. But the expensive stuff is uh, sturgeon. 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 What do you say? He's like, you need to do the crossover for STI. Yeah, <laughs> you can't you can't use the pool unless you do STI. He's like, we we need female divers. <laughs> it's true. I was just talking to him about that. We need I'm more. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially if you speak Mandarin or Cantonese. What is this? Yeah, but your but your English is you speak German? Yeah. Come on, yeah, just I just mean, move she's here. Based in Vienna. Austria. Like SCR, right? yeah. Yeah. Okay, you speak Which? Mandarin and Cantonese. What is this like? E or something? What is that? One, two, three, four, five. I am. What is that like? Mandarin. Mandarin. Cantonese. Mandarin. Mandarin. Yeah. What else? Hello, German. German. And I'm learning Spanish. And your English is really good because our other. Chinese instructor, he can't do English. 
You can't do English people. Uh, he cannot speak, uh, not, speak English. not very good. Yeah, hard. So you need to you need to come here and teach. We'll we'll market in China. And Austria. And Austria and Spain. Austria and is easy in Spain. Why the Chinese? Because they're like going here. Oh, Marilyn, yeah, your husband came down here a few times and I gave him a shirt. Did you get the photo? You, uh, we took a photo to make you jealous. <laughs> your husband, uh, he said you're diving at Pure Vita. Yeah, sturgeon is rare. When I was in Ukraine, it's, it's caviar, it's like super cheap. It's not expensive at all. They, it's not at like Maybe every little convenience store. The eggs of uh, Wuhan, like Filipino fish. Filipino fish. Dude, there was like, there was this We're gonna make nudie here. brink, like, nudie brink caviar. Fish. Huh? It's like flatfish or something. I had one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I don't know flounder. Flounder? Yeah. flounder? Yeah. How the hell do you find flounder eggs? <laughs> flounder eggs. No. What? What the hell is Critter Creek? Why, why found when, when Alex did this, it flipped to me. Yeah, yeah. We, we got a lot of video doing why, that. Why, why do they do always. That? I don't know why. Did you try? Yeah. We got lots of videos. They always do it. You do, if you do that, they come to you. Yeah. It's, it yeah. depends. Though. Sometimes Not all of them, but like 50% of the time. We have so many videos. Watch, Judea, show you. Yeah, yeah. I have a video of him doing it, but I didn't try it. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why they do it. You don't even have to make much sound. They just go upside down and lay on your arm or your hand. During my six hour dive, we were just sitting there doing that with one for a long time. Yeah. We had like nothing to do. Critter crew. Yeah, we got to get off here because I think my phone, we didn't bring my charger. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's. A baby one. We don't know why it does it. We should try it with a huge one. It's like. Mm. Cover your face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> Dude, yeah, there was a huge one. It was like big as like my hands. So I was crazy like that. It's awesome. I don't know why they do it. I've never seen an explanation. Yeah, she's. You're Chinese, but you live in Austria, right? Your whole life, or what? No, I lived in the UK, uh, London for oh. five years. UK. Yeah, so good English. <coughs> yeah, we need I'm more. Just, uh, we need so more. We need more instructors. The UK. I'm having a hard time to. So, yeah, somebody said you need to get on screen. No, I don't like. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> she just took off running. Do you have the. Like, yeah. Yeah. Who's it? Brett. All right, I'm gonna have to get off. Lots of people showing up. Nice hat. See you guys uh, on the next one. Sorry, it's so chaotic. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Later, guys.